Does anybody know what this thing is? Of course, it's a GPS. And what does a GPS do? Go ahead. Yes. It tells you the directions. It tells you directions. What else? Coordinates are. It tells you where you are, how to get there, and which way to go. Now, how does this little box know where it is? Go ahead. Satellite signals. Does everybody understand that? What's a satellite? Go ahead. Little thing that floats up in space that people want to jump there. That's right. That's right. It's it's a it's something that orbits the Earth. Do we got a globe in here? Can I have can I have the globe? Absolutely. Thank you. This does everybody know what this is? This is this is the Earth. All right. Now, around the Earth orbits these things called satellites. And how many GPS satellites are there? Go ahead. 24. How'd you know that? I don't know. I just got the number from there. <laughs> <laughs> so how many? What did you there's, there's, 20, there's 24 satellites that orbit the Earth, and each of these satellites tells this thing how to, it tells how does this thing talk to the the satellites in orbit? Oh, it um sends like radio um at radio signals. Yes, right. There right. You go. So each, each of the satellites in orbit, now, now the satellites don't stay in one spot. They're constantly going around the Earth like this. And what they do is they transmit down to the Earth their position in space and the exact time of day. So they're constantly sending down the position and where, where they are in space and what time it is. And then from that, this thing figures out where you are. It just, it's basically, you got your earth, you got a satellite out here, and you're down here on the surface of the earth, and you got a satellite over here, this one's beaming its signal, this one's beaming its signal, and what's this big thing out here? A triangle. A triangle, and using a triangle, we can figure out where we are. Now, how do, the, how do the satellites know where they are? Go ahead, Alyssa. Um, well, okay. Okay. okay, go ahead. Well, You're okay? Go ahead, guess. How far away from that thingy that they're getting from is? Go ahead, one more, one more. Uh, That's good. Do, don't they have like sensors or something like that? No. Well, Somebody's got to tell these satellites where they are. And once the satellites know where they are, they can tell us where we are. Now, you guys were studying Christopher Columbus, right? Who, yeah. Who's Christopher Columbus? Go ahead. Um, the guy who tried to find uh, water route to Asia. To Asia, right. Where was he trying to go to in Asia? Uh, India. 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 Where's India on the globe? Come up here. Ooh, Show me where India is. He doesn't you don't know? How about you? You know where India is? Okay, Colonel L. <laughs> Show me where India is. I, is. Is India down here? No. 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 It's, up there. it's up here? Yeah. Okay. okay there what, is. what latitude is India? Okay, what's the difference? Latitude goes up and down, or which one? Um, latitude, it sounds like flatitude, so it goes... Flat. That's good, I never heard that. Okay, <laughs> it's, um, I'm looking for a number. Where's the number? Oh, there it is, 20 degrees. 20 degrees. 20 degrees. Latitude. Okay, now, now, Christopher Columbus didn't have these satellite signals to tell where he was. And he could only tell his latitude. He couldn't tell his longitude, how far east-west he was. So when he set sail, where did he set sail from? Um, Spain? I heard it. Somebody said Spain. So Spain is here. And he went, did he go straight across? No. Where did he end up? Bahamas. The Bahamas. What's the latitude of the Bahamas? Don't tell me that. <laughs> Okay, the latitude of the Bahamas just happens 
to be the same as India. So what Christopher Columbus did, he went, he went south until he got to the right latitude and then he went across because he, he couldn't measure his distance because he didn't have GPS. So what we're going to do with rockets is what we're going to do is we're going to pretend our rocket is this satellite and we're going to measure how high our satellite goes. It's in our rocket. I have one thing. How would you know how high it went with like those kinds of rockets? And all that? Well, we're going to use what's called trigonometry to figure out how high they go. And I got <laughs> this is called an elf, um, inclinometer. It measures incline. Incline is like you go up an incline up a set of stairs. And what we're going to do with our rockets, the rocket's going to go up in the air, and I'm going to take this and then press it down when I see the rocket, and then I can measure the angle. You know how to measure that angle? About 35 degrees. And that's how we're going to measure how high the rocket goes. We're going to we're going to have we're going to be standing right here. The rocket's going to go up here. And we're going to measure how do you know how high it is? This angle here. Well, if we know this distance here from this to here and we know this angle Using triangles, I mean, triangles, we're going to find out how high it goes, and then we'll show you that later. Okay?